Hello and welcome to part 9. In this part we will be making and knocking about with the Sep entity. With the Sep entity. So, first of all let's make a image, which I've already done, a Zeppelin. You can download the files in the description under the video and drop it inside the textures folder. Zabang. Call it sep.png if you haven't already. Open main.lua. We're gonna comment out, as it's called, the old box entities, which were silly and stupid looking. So, when we've done that, open entities, entities.lua. Uh, we're gonna be adding a new function here called um, destroy. Ents.destroy with an ID. I'm just gonna copy paste that function. That function is going to take an ID in the arguments, so you'll see how, we'll, how we use this later. If the entity with that ID exists, then uh, check if it has the die function and run it, and nil out the entity. Uh, remove it from the table basically, and uh, making it ready for garbage disposal later. Garbage. Garbage disposal. So, that is complete. Actually, when we're here in the entities.lua, we're gonna reg register the sep entity so we don't forget it. Sep. Sep. Just copy pasted that line and changed the box words with sep. As you saw. That's good. Um, now let's make the sep entity itself. Just copy paste the box.lua and call it sep.lua. Open it up and we'll do some minor changes, I guess. Remove the sizing stuff so we end up like this. Then we're gonna edit the set position function that came with the base entity and self and set position x y the same as the last one so far x equals x y equals y but self fixed underscore y equals y you'll see why we need this later then in the load function we need to load the image that we just uh, put inside the game so self image equals love that's a function that you find on the wikipedia on the wiki Maybe graphics, new image, the path to the image, textures slash sep.png. We also need the birth date of this entity, so birth equals love timer get time, the time that has passed since we started the since we started the program, plus a random number. Just to make variation if we spawn a lot of entities in the same millisecond. So, 128. This math random function picks a number between the two arguments that we put in. So, this function will pick a random number between 0 and 128. So, that's that. Self.size will also be a random number between uh, 4 and 6. Just some random numbers there. Very random. Extremely, actually. Then, let's move over to the update function. We do not want the zeppelins to fall to the ground, that would be idiotic. We want, it, want them to fly, but only just about. They will wobble in a sinus function. What is a sinus function? Or a sine wave, as some might call it. Some might call it. It is like this. For each x, uh, as the x axis goes, the y uh, variates between plus one and minus one. You've probably learned about this in math. I hope you have. Because we'll be going into much more advanced stuff than a sinus wave in this tutorial. So, let's say the x position is the time passed in the game. So, after about six, six seconds, the discipline would have wobbled up some pixels, then down some pixel, pixels, <laughs> then back to its original position, and then repeat, and repeat to infinity. It will look swell, you'll see. No, do not save. 
Norwegian. There you go. Um, so let's make it wobble. Self Y position should be should be the self fixed Y position. We do not variate this position. This is the fixed position of the Y uh, of the Y position. So plus uh, math dot sin. This is the science function for Lua. And then uh, the time in the X position. So self uh, now love dot timer dot get time. And if I don't remember wrong, I I used minus self birth. Yeah, of course. Then I also time it with its size because I feel that large ones should uh, wobble more than small ones. That's just my view on it. I think that will go through if we don't change it. <laughs> self x equals self x. We want it to move, of course, so self size. Let's time it with 9 for testing purposes and slow them down, down later. Per second. So it's size times 9 per second. Then we also want to check if it's outside the screen and destroy it. So if self of x is larger or equal to 124, just uh, this the size of the screen is 800, remember, uh, in the width. But uh, let's just add some more for awesomeness. Then, and destroy its own ID. Yeah, control S. Uh, if the entity would be so unlucky as to die, Ent.die, we need that function in. Then create itself again. So rebirth um, with a random x position. Math random 128, 256. The reason why I do minus here is because I want the Zeppelin to spawn outside the screen, remember. And y position. Sure, shocked. That was Norwegian. Then we draw the whole thing. Let's draw the image on the position of the entity. So graphics set color white or default. Love graphics draw the image of itself. The X position, the Y position, no rotation. Uh, it's size with some numbers, if I remember. Yeah. So self size divided by 20, just a random number that fits divided by 20. So the X scale and the Y scale should be scaled in uh, at the same time with the same number. Zero, zero, and offset. I guess that's the Zeppelin entity. I'm just gonna go and check over here on my, on my entity here. Yep, I think we've got everything. I hope so, or else we'll get an error. Okay. Then let's uh, let's spawn the entity in the main dot Lua. Uh, let's co let's copy paste here. Change the box with sap. Actually, we're gonna get the spawn function that we made inside the entity when it dies. Here we go. If we want a function to repeat a certain a certain number of times, then for i equals one. It should start at 1 and repeat 8 times do. Just put that inside that loop. That loop will, that loop will, will uh, repeat 8 times before it stops. So it should make 8 zeppelins in a short time. There we go. Wobbling zeppelins. Wobbling zeppelins. Okay, whatever. Uh, we'll make this shootable in the next part. So bear with me. And see you then.